Hello everyone, it is Mr Breen speaking. It is Tuesday the 20th of July. This is an update for all Year 10 parents and for Year 10 pupils. I'd like to start with a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Saint Monica, pray for us. In the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. During this update, these are the things I would like to go through. I'm going to talk about the end of year 10 report, which will be with you shortly. The year 10 interviews that myself and Mrs Keenan have been doing. Bits of information about the summer break and then looking ahead to year 11. Shortly, you will be receiving your child's end of year 10 report. This is what the report will look like. There will be space at the top for a comment from your child's form tutor. And then there will be the following information. There will be the year 11 tie grade. There will be the current working grade. There will be the attitude to learning grade that says ATL. There is not a column that says indicative end of year 11 grade. We have chosen not to include that because given the disruptions of the last two years and the fact there's been no actual GCSEs for the last two years, it's very hard to predict outcomes for the end of year 11. And we feel that there's little to gain from doing this at this stage. So they're the details that you will see on your report. I'm just going to talk in a bit more detail about each of those elements. So the year 11 target grade, that is generated by a combination of the national expectation from key stage two, so the year six SAT performance, and the teacher knowledge. So they are designed to be aspirational grades, but hopefully not unrealistic grades. So that's where the year 11 target grades come from. The next column is the current working grade. This is the grade that we would expect your child to be awarded if they sat their GCSE exams now in July 2021. That's the grade that they are currently working at. This is not what we think they will achieve in summer 2022. There is still a full year 11 to go through. How we come up with the current working grade, well, it's based on recent assessments that have been done in class where possible and the teacher knowledge of the pupils. Year 10 had a week of year 10 exams. Unfortunately, a lot of pupils were having to isolate that week, the following week, etc. So it's been very difficult for pupils to do their assessments in class. So in those situations, it's based on the teacher knowledge of the pupils and the grade that they think they're the children are working at at this current stage. Please note also it's a fine grade and there are grade descriptors there. So a 4A indicates a child is working at the top of a grade 4, a 4B would be in the middle and a 4C would be at the bottom of a grade 4. The third column is the attitude to learning, the ATL grade. Okay, This is by far the most important aspect of the reports. This is the aspect that collectively as staff, as parents and as pupils, we can influence the most. And this is always the focus of our discussions with pupils. Myself and Mrs Keenan have been meeting all the year 10 pupils over the last few weeks. It's been difficult because again, pupils have been isolated, but we have managed to get through the majority of the year 10 pupils. It's clear that we have a lot of mature young people in year 10 going into year 11, and they are an absolute credit to their families. We've been looking ahead to year 11. We've been looking ahead to beyond year 11 and colleges, universities, apprenticeships, um, talking about possible careers that the pupils are interested in going into. And it's clear, like I said, there's a lot of mature decisions that have been made by the young people. Questions that we've been asking, what can you do to help yourself? What can they do to benefit themselves at this stage and going into year 11? What can we do as a school to support the young people? And crucially, how much do you want it? And that is a really, really key question. We are here to help, but a lot of this has to come from within. How much does the child want it? And this is a phrase that we use a lot. Don't be upset by the results you didn't get with the work that you didn't do. If their attitude to learning grade is a three or a four in any subject, it's not good enough and they need to do something about it. So in those instances where that has been the case, that has been a clear focus of the discussion. Get ahead now to the summer break. Well, we all need the break. It has been the longest and strangest year that we've all experienced. It is really important therefore that everyone has a break. Take that time to relax, 
and to recharge and to be ready to go again. It's also really important that we maintain our social responsibility. Restrictions have lifted and we know that they are ever changing. It's really important that we just keep doing what we're supposed to be doing and we maintain that element of social responsibilities. As I said, it's really important that we recharge and that we're ready to go again. And it's also really important that the pupils are prepared for September. In the conversations I've had with year 10 pupils, I've been expressing how important it is to have a break, but they cannot go through six weeks without doing anything at all work wise. And that idea of doing a little often is a really, really important key to success. As it says there, if you add a little to a little and do this often, soon the little will become great. I think that's a really important message that we need to get through to our year 10 pupils at this stage. So they're soon going to be entering year 11 and it is an exciting time. It's a really important part of any young person's life. The year 11 will return on Friday the 3rd of September and they will return as the leaders of our school. That brings with it a responsibility. They are the role models for all the other pupils in our year, in our school, and we expect them to carry out that duty. It's really important that they start well and they get going on with the bee of the bang, as Linford Christie called it. It's really important that they make a positive start every day and every lesson counts. And it's really important that they take responsibility for their own success. Year 11 is a journey. I talked to the pupils recently about it's not a full year group, a full year, sorry, it's only about 30 weeks. We know that this year group are going to do GCSE exams. They are planned for summer 2022. The Department for Education are looking at making some adaptations, but at the moment we are planning for summer exams. We will prepare for these exams. There will be practice exams, mock exams around November time, around February time. It's really important that we are preparing the pupils as well as we possibly can for that exam experience. There will be a Welcome to Year 11 event on the it's scheduled for the 9th of September. I will communicate more information about that when we return in September. That is looking at things like tips on how to revise, what works, what doesn't work, a few myths there that we need to uh, overcome. We'll also talk about how you as parents can support the young people in going through year 11 because we recognise it can be a stressful time and we want to make sure that it is a genuine team effort. As staff, as pupils and as parents, we are doing everything we can collectively to support the young people. That's for September. Before we get to then, we've got our summer break. Please, please, please have a lovely break. Please remember we are all in this together. If there is anything that we can do to support, please get in touch with school via your child's form tutor or head of year or anyone else in school and we will do what we can to help. All we want is for the young people to be the best versions of themselves and to maximise their potential. Thank you for everything you have done this year in supporting your child and also in supporting the school. It's been a very strange year. We are nearly at the end of it. So thank you for your time. Have a lovely summer and I will speak to you again in September.